This is the cap. It's a very small device, and all it is is an acoustic pickup. Now, on the inside of the packaging, the instructions like to uh, make it sound a little bit more flash than it actually is. The EPM acoustic transducer uses a high quality piezoelectric ceramic transducer to fully reproduce the sounds of your acoustic guitar. So this is it. It's a very simple device. I would do an unboxing, but it would literally be this. The product is made from a company called um, EPM, the EPM company. And this product retails on average for about £25. I managed to pick it up for £19 at a discounted rate from a local music shop. So we'll take a look at the device. Hopefully you can get a good close look at that. Basically, it's a beer bottle top, which is layered with a piezoelectric transducer. And then on top of that is just a thin layer of resin. So basically what you do is you attach this to your instrument. You plug this into um, an amp or your computer if you're recording. And then you're away. And it picks up anything that it comes into contact with because it works on the basis of vibration. The sensitivity of the product is both its biggest success and its greatest downfall. Because of its sensitivity, it's very successful in picking up the sounds of the instrument and only the sounds of the instrument. The only downfall of using a condenser microphone like this is it picks up a lot of environmental sound around the microphone. So if you're playing acoustic guitar and you even as much as breathe a little bit too loudly, the mic's going to pick it up. And in that sense, the bottle um, cap pickup is slightly more advantageous in that region. But there is much less quality to be said for the recording itself. The quality of recording sound is no way as near as comparable to a microphone like this. The disadvantage of this product is again its sensitivity. It's a two-edged sword, it really is, because the trouble with the sensitivity is it picks up the smallest vibration on the surface of the instrument you might be recording. So for example, I've used it previously to record a guitar that I've made from a um, a roses tin, a cookie tin. And the problem with recording an instrument that's actually made out of metal is it conducts vibration incredibly well. And the pickup really picks up even the slightest tap in the wrong place. Um, if you place your hand down against the body of the guitar, it will pick that up as well. So in some senses, it is a bit too oversensitive. But you know, it's good if you um, if you can't afford a microphone like this, which is exactly the reason why I'm reviewing it, because of its cheapness. Now there are other alternatives to this particular pickup, and one of those is that you can make it yourself. It's not rocket science, it's actually very, very easy to do. I've looked at the specific requirements for actually making one, and it's exactly the same as what I've just described. If you can pick up all of those parts, the expensive probably being the um, piezo pickup, I mean, you know, a beer bottle top's gonna be virtually next to nothing all you got to do is grab yourself a Budweiser and you got one so if you can find a pickup piezo, uh, piezo pickup somewhere you're going to be um, averaging at a price of maybe £10 or even less it just requires a little bit more effort to be able to make it yourself get out the solder and iron or whatever you need to make it I don't really think that this product is particularly suited for acoustic guitar because you can get better results with a microphone like this but what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to do a little test. We're going to compare them and contrast them, the microphone versus the bottle top pickup. And we're just going to see the difference between the two. Finally, what I'm going to do is actually uh, do a little test record on the guitar that I made. Just really showing how it brings it into its own. The fact that if you make an instrument that isn't normally amplified, this is where the bottle top pickup can actually be really useful in recording your instruments at home. <laughs>
So hopefully you found those good couple of tests um, just at least a little bit helpful to be able to judge the difference between something like a bottle top pickup and using a microphone like this. You'll notice the difference between both of them when recording acoustic guitar. The microphone tends to pick up a lot of ambient sound from the room. It's got just a little bit more clarity, whereas recording with the bottle top pickup, um, it's almost slightly kind of one directional. And I find that that's definitely its limitation. And then finally, um, the DIY uh, blues guitar, the one made out of the roses tin. Um, again, the clarity is very slightly damped. Um, it feels like it's been kind of recorded inside of a shell, which is a little bit strange, but it works. So if you found this video particularly interesting um, and you're interested with the idea of a bottle top pickup or at least making one, um, because it's a very cheap means of recording, then go ahead and do that. Um, I'm probably going to make one or two videos more that are going to include this um, bottle top pickup um, while recording a few other instruments, um, maybe a little bit of percussion, and see how that goes. So stay tuned, it's not going to be the last you're going to see of the bottle top pickup. So thanks for watching.